it's me. It's Anne. I'm back. Ooh. Now, yes, this is the last day of Pride Month, but today is not a Pride theme. It's not. It really isn't. Because you see, Granny Annie, she who buys the inexpensive makeup, has some bougie makeup to play with. Deb Knobloch did a um, giveaway with a small bougie palette because she got a duplicate in one of her subscription boxes. Guess who won? Anyway, I am now the proud owner of a Natasha Denona Mini Lila. And yes, I have stuck my fingers in it. <laughs> and today I'm going to stick my brushes in it. Now, I got so excited about this that I immediately asked Deb if she would mind doing a collab. So we're both going to use the MD Mini Lila and do a look. I've played with swatches. I haven't actually done anything with it yet. Yes, it's fun playing with the swatches because you know all that thing they talk about with it's buttery and it's creamy and it's so soft and they ain't lying. Okay, yeah, it's gorgeous stuff. It's bougie as heck. <laughs> it's wonderful. The colors are great. And I'm actually kind of wishing I'd had this when I was doing the rhubarb because, yeah. But I put my foundation on. I put some concealer here and there. Excuse me. I've got it powdered down just a little bit. Got my, my moisturizer and all that stuff on under it. My lips are looking pretty crusty right now. That's because I've got that autoimmune thing that goes on every so often. My whole face goes to heck. Yes, I'm trying to be nice and not cuss today. But... There are times when my face breaks out and goes crazy, my mouth goes with it. You don't want to see the, the raw places inside. Just suffice it that the lips are crunchy. Because no matter how much lip product I put on, they don't want to be done with this until they're ready to be done with this. So, I've got them treated, but that's it. Since I've got my foundation on, I'm going to use my eye shields. Now, these things are really cool. They come with sticky all over the back, but I only peel off this little bit where it's, so it sticks right under here, catch and fall out. I have no idea if there's fallout. I haven't gotten that far with this. Now, some people don't like them because they're really sticky. Some of them aren't so bad. This one's not so bad. I don't worry about this one, you know, these too much. But that's also why I don't get crazed and peel the whole thing and stick it down to my face. This helps clean up any fallout, and then you've only got little things to go after. If you get some that have some aggressive sticky back on them, go to someplace else on your body, your arm, your stomach, your thigh, whatever. Doesn't matter. And stick it down two, three times and peel it back up. Like, you know like you do when you're using just scotch tape to lint your sweater. 
Anyway, let's get started here. This is the Ruby Kisses Eye Primer. It's kind of a beigey color as opposed to the bright white one that I use when I'm doing really flash colors like most of the month doing all of the rainbow colors. I want those to stand out and pop. This one I'm looking for possibly a little subtlety. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm, I'm confusing you. I get it. I get it. Subtlety is not normally one of my defaults. Hi guys, it's editing and well, I've had some definite screw up with my video up to the point where from where I started with putting on the the eye primer to where I cut out and jumped over and said, by the way, I'll be right back after I finish this up. Yes, I'm sideways to where I normally am because all of my makeup stuff is over here. And usually while I'm editing, I will move the camera over here in case I have to do this. Sorry, we weren't expecting company today, so yeah, the, the, the room's a wreck. Anyway, I put the lovely Natasha Denona on my eyes, and I started off with the flint, picked up the raisin, and then the blue dahlia, and then the poison berry, and then went back for the inner corner with the linen. We do have the finished look portion of this. Now, the majority of the stuff that I was blathering on about in the putting it on was just how I was putting it on, what brushes I was using, mainly, <coughs> excuse me, what size brushes I was using because I have hooded eyes and smaller brushes are usually the thing for someone with hooded eyes or someone with, you know, just a smaller eye area. You don't want huge brushes to do little bitty spaces. Anyway, yes, this is why I don't wear my glasses when I'm normally doing the, the makeup portion because all you'd see is the ring light reflected kind of like you're right now seeing my monitor reflected anyway I do want to say a few things about Deb she was very generous doing a giveaway and I appreciate it something fierce I can't wait till I see her look with this now, we didn't do a lot of discussing of the look or colors and use thereof or whatever. So, I actually decided that what I was going to do was use every blessed color in the palette as much as possible. And I managed to do it. You'll see it clearer on the end portion video when I come back with my, you know, the eyeliner and the lip and all that. The lip is Elf Bordeaux. Wonderful color. 
foundation was just something I have. No, I'm not bringing it up much because it's one of the products I'm trying to use up that has issues. The highlighter that I've got under the brow, in the corner, and all over the rest of the face is the Ofra Star Island. I think I've got most of this stuff in the in the final segment, but I want to make sure. And I've got AOA Studio Lumi Delicate Pink Blush. And my favorite e.l.f. eyebrow pencil and general stuff like that. But Deb and I share a problem where we both have autoimmune issues. Deb is, I can't really say restricted to a wheelchair because she still gets and goes and does and I wish I had that much energy just every day. <laughs> but both of us understand that sometimes you do a lot in one day because you're feeling good and then you pay for it the rest of the time. Now with doing things like lots and lots of the rainbow stuff or like back at Christmas where I was doing a video almost every day, that was very, very, very difficult on occasion. And you'll sometimes hear Deb talk about it being difficult on occasion to be able to just get up and do. If just because you see somebody, because sometimes I need a walker, sometimes I don't. If you see somebody who doesn't necessarily look sick, don't suppose that if they're using handicap accommodations that they are not handicapped in some way. Some of us don't really show it much. You wouldn't think to look at Deb unless you saw her in her wheelchair. You would not think that she has any kind of disability whatsoever. Most people don't think I have a disability in particular unless they see my walker or if I'm in a store with scooters and I'm having a bad day, I use one of the scooters. Let me tell you, people in mobility chairs and scooters, they disappear in front of people. People who are able to walk, they don't always see us. And if you run into Deb, Please don't run into her hard. But if you run into Deb or run into somebody like Deb or run into somebody like me, please be nice. Please be nice. We're not necessarily going to look sick when you see us. But that doesn't mean that we don't have things that we have to deal with to be able to do what we're doing. You know, I've been occasionally on a walker, occasionally not on a walker. If I'm going into the pharmacy and it's just, yeah, you know, if I manage to get a good parking place, I won't always pull my walker out. And then people yell at me about parking in the handicap spot because I didn't go wrestle my walker out of the trunk. That's not nice. So just remember not every disability or situation or handicap 
is necessarily going to be in your face. Now, for me, Debbie is an absolute just model of how to go through smiling all the time. I really do wish I could do that as much as she does. <coughs> it has been an absolute joy and pleasure to get to know her through the YouTube medium. She's an inspiration. She really is. I'm going to put my editing hat back over in the corner and let the video finish up. And yeah, y'all be good. With a rather classic glam. Tell me what you think. If you don't go over and watch Deb, I'm going to be really disappointed. Go watch Deb. I dare you. Besides, that's where I'm going next. Be good.